So the thing about an and inequality, when you're solving it, it's already written as that long statement where all of the pieces are together and both inequalities are in the like math sentence. Do you guys see what I'm talking about there? Mm -hmm. So when I look at this, I've got three places. I have negative 12, 7x plus 9, and 16. What are my like terms in this? Negative 12, negative 12 9, 9, and? 16. And our goal is to get the x alone in the middle of the inequality. Oh. What's with it? 9. The first thing we want to deal with is the 9. We'll deal subtract. with the 7 after. We're going to subtract the 9. It's an inequality with three places. So you have to subtract that 9 from all three places where there is a like term. If this over here was like 2x, we would still put that negative 9 over there. It has to go to all, no would we? No, you go with, with the like terms. Let me see if I can find an example. Okay, negative 12 minus 9 is? Three. No. Oh, wait, that's negative 21. Negative 21. <laughs> I know, you're thinking 12 minus 9. No, we're combining them. Negative 21 less than 7x which makes sense. We've got a 7 and a 21, don't we? 16 minus 9 is going to be? 7. Okay. Usually with these, they won't end up with fractions, although there are those weird ones that you guys have looked at me like, what? Does this make sense that as we subtracted this 9, we ended up with things that will divide by 7? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because our next move is divide by 7. <coughs> Bless you. Because we got to get the x alone. Got to get the x alone. Negative 21 divided by positive 7. Negative 3. I have a negative, but did I divide by a negative? No. So the symbol stays the same. 7 divided by 7 is? 1. And negative, or, uh, less than symbol, no negative here. 7 divided by 7 is? 1. Okay, we leave it invisible here because it's with the variable, but we have to make it visible here. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Yep. Okay. Negative 3 is less than x is less than are gonna, 1. Are we going to divide everything by negative 3? Oh, we already did that with 7. The x is by itself, so now we can graph it. I like to graph it by pulling this apart and doing our flip-flop idea, where I've got the x is less than 1 and x is greater than negative 3. Notice what I did there? I took the right side of the inequality and I rewrote it here. Just as it is, because the right side has x symbol constant. This side of the inequality, I flipped it. Why? It'll be easier to graph it. So I took this, oh, yeah. and notice what I did to the symbol? It went from less than to, okay? And now we're going to put our negative 3, and we're going to put our 1. These are both what kind of circles? Open. And what's going to happen? It's greater than negative 3, less than 1, so the line oh, meets in the over. middle. They Wait. stop. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because Because it's an and, both statements have to be completely true with everything graphed. The or with that one that crossed over, it's a little bit different. Because it'll just flow over the other one. Okay, you guys ready for one to practice on your own and see if it looks like mine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Please write down negative two multiplied by x plus 1 is less than 4. Oh, this one's a little bit different. And 4x plus 1 is less than or equal to negative 3. And when this one's finished, we will rewrite it as 1 long with an x in the middle. Okay, I'm going to pause and let you guys work on this on your own and we'll compare back together in a moment.